It's one of those things uh, people don't like to think about, but have you ever wondered what happens to all of your online accounts after you pass away? All of those contacts, emails, passwords, and social media accounts, you have online millions of people leave, it all, leave all of that data in limbo every year. A 13 News consumer technology reporter, Jamie Tucker, says that you can create a digital will for your family and friends. Leaving behind your digital legacy, all of your usernames and passwords is kind of tricky. You can write them down, give them to a friend, maybe put them in the will, but Google has a special tool that not many people know about. It's called Inactive Account Manager. Here's how it works. You'll choose who you want to share your information with in the event you pass away. You'll decide what information they'd like to share from your Google account. You can share your email, calendar, contacts, photos, anything else you feel is important. You can also write a quick note to each person that they'll receive with the information. You can make these very personal. They'll have access to the Google files for three months after you die. So how does Google know when you die? That's a good question. If you stop using your Gmail or Google accounts for four months, Google will try to reach you by email and text messages to find out if you're okay. If you do not respond in two months, Google will assume you've died and your account will be marked as inactive. Google will then send out the messages that you left for your trusted contacts, along with download links to the information you've left them. Google also lets you respond to emails from the grave, sort of. If your Google account is marked inactive, Gmail will auto-reply to any emails with a response that you write now. It's something everyone should consider doing because it's very, very difficult to gain access to an account that doesn't belong to you. And none of these companies will close accounts unless someone provides a death certificate or a copy of an obituary. And that is a big hassle, a big responsibility to leave behind for one of your loved ones. That's what the tech. Jamie Tucker, 13 News. Interesting.